landing call was for another aircraft. We're Orbit 526. I'll handle the radios during this flight, so don't worry if you miss anything. I'll tell you what to do. The display on the left is the primary flight display, or PFD. It combines multiple instruments into one display. The blue and brown section in the middle of the PFD is an attitude indicator. The vertical tape on the left side shows airspeed, and the tape on the right side shows altitude. At the bottom in the middle is a horizontal situation indicator, which shows heading. And to the right of that is a vertical speed indicator. Glass displays like these take some time to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, you'll love them. The display to the right of the PFD is the navigation display, which shows a top-down view of the aircraft's position relative to navigational aids and the flight plan route. You can change how the map looks by using the format and range knobs on the left side of the panel. Try it now if you want to. Okay, the third display is the Engine Indication and Crew Alerting System, or ICAS. The default page shows engine information, gear and flap positions, fuel quantity, and warning and caution messages. You can scroll through the different ICAS screens by clicking the up and down buttons at the bottom of the display. Each screen provides information about a different aircraft system. For this flight, keep the engine gauges showing on the ICAS. The top gauges are labeled N1. As we fly, I'll give you suggested thrust settings. Use your joystick throttle lever or the F2 and F3 keys to move the N1 needles to the settings I suggest. The rows of buttons and knobs just below the windshield is the mode control panel for the autopilot. We won't be using the autopilot on this flight, so don't worry about any of that for now. A big difference between jets and piston aircraft is that in a jet, the engines take a while to spool up. This means that if you add or reduce thrust, there will be a slight delay before your action has any effect. This fact, combined with the jet's higher speed, means that you need to plan ahead. Jets have flaps, just like piston aircraft. They're used during takeoff and landing to increase both lift and drag. Lower the flaps to 20 degrees for takeoff now by pressing the F7 key three times. You can see the flap indicator on the ICAS.
watch our controller will probably tell us to make a left turn to the west. I'll let you know when to turn. Clear for takeoff. Orbit 526. All right, we're clear to go. When you're ready, use the throttle lever on your joystick or press the F3 key to add thrust. Start with 50% N1. Let the engine stabilize and then increase thrust to 100%. Exceed 250 knots and keep the landing lights on. This is standard practice below 10,000 feet. 